Everyone has cravings. They can tell us what we're lacking from a nutrient perspective, vitamins, minerals, and fatty acids. They can also tell us if our gut microbiome is out of balance. Maybe you're lacking lactobacillus and craving some yogurt. Perhaps you have a candida overgrowth and your body really wants sugar. Depending on what those cravings are and how you act upon them can greatly determine your health. Now, s'mores was something I was craving a couple months back, and I always try to find healthy alternatives and ways you can have certain things basically without poisoning yourself, which can be difficult in most circumstances. That being said, regardless of what food you're craving, if you're able to put in the time and the effort to source the ingredient, as well as the preparation time, you can have a healthy, delicious, and nutritious meal that is free of negative chemicals, pesticides, compounds that will harm your body that you can have on a consistent basis. Uh, for this, it was really just about figuring out where to get the graham cracker, the chocolate, and the marshmallow because you know, no one really thinks about making s'mores organic and healthy. Uh, so let's go over those ingredients and then We'll prepare them simply. Generally speaking, when you crave a food that has chocolate in it, the chocolate component is what you're craving. And that's because it's very abundant in minerals that tend to be deficient in the average diet. Magnesium, copper, iron, potassium. It's calorically dense, sugar and fat, which fuels our cells as well as our gut microbiome. And it's very easy to find quality chocolate now. Organic is pretty much everywhere. You can even get raw, single source, minimally processed cacao if you'd like to. Uh, this stuff is affordable. It tastes pretty good. It's the 57% organic dark chocolate from Whole Foods. I like this one. And that's really the main nutritional component of this snack because all these other two things offer for the most part is caloric energy. The marshmallow was kind of hard to find. Uh, this is something I originally ordered online and then I found out they had it at Whole Foods. It's a fluff, it's not the actual marshmallow, so you can't exactly you know, roast this over a fire to get that nice smoke flavor. This has organic tapioca syrup, organic cane sugar, spring water, organic egg whites, and organic vanilla extract. So from an ingredient perspective, the only concerns we really have, you know, is there anti-nutrients in the tapioca? What's the quality of the egg whites? Are we gonna have an allergic reaction? But you know, compared to what most kids eat, what most people eat for cheat meals and snacks, this is definitely pretty good. So I have two different graham crackers here. The bottom one is what I originally ordered online and the ingredient list is slightly better. Uh, the top is what I found at Whole Foods and they actually changed their ingredients to be better. If you wanna make your own graham crackers, uh, it's very easy to do. It's basically honey, eggs, butter, and flour. You know, it's not too difficult. Uh, so the ingredients for the Whole Foods is wheat flour, cane sugar, uh, some seed oils, sunflower, safflower, canola, honey, molasses, and then some cane syrup, sea salt, and baking soda. So this has a decent amount of omega-6. It's not that great. The main difference between these two is the one on the bottom uses high oleic oils, which means the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio is much better. Therefore, this is much less inflammatory, but uh, you know this brand, Simple Truth Organic, might not be available at your local store, you might have to find it online. So the graham crackers and the marshmallow are really just sugar, carbohydrate, energy, and then we have some minerals and some fat and sugar in the chocolate. If you do source high quality ingredients like this, you're removing most pesticides, most agrochemical concerns, but this is something that you definitely don't wanna have more than a few times a week. Uh, for kids, hey, they usually eat crap all day anyway, so this is a step above everything else. So we have the Whole Foods crackers on the right and the other ones on the left. I think that's fine. And this is basically just whipped egg whites, sugar, and vanilla. So you, know, you could throw those ingredients in a stand mixer and basically have the same thing. So I'll pop this in the oven for about two minutes on low broil. So I did say low broil for a minute or two, but I actually put this in the oven, which was previously on. So after about five minutes in a warm oven, everything's completely melted. So now all we need to do is combine the two sides. And there we have a mess. And I'm burning my hands with chocolate. Yeah, this is really uh, melting all over the place. This is like 
the messiest thing I've ever made. Definitely a kid's food. All right, so that was the Whole Foods cracker. I want to see how it compares to the other cracker. Definitely just as messy. So the Simple Truth organic crackers are definitely better than the Whole Foods ones. They're moister, flavor's about the same. If you don't want this to be super duper messy, what you can actually do is not put this in the oven at all. Just put the chocolate on the graham cracker, put the fluff on top and eat it like that. You're gonna have to chew the chalk a little more to get it to melt in your mouth, but you won't have a mess everywhere. Overall, it tastes pretty good. It's s'mores, if you're craving s'mores, this will definitely uh, be better than eating s'mores Pop-Tarts or, or just using you know, conventional ingredients for this. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Please leave a comment down below, drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And if you guys can please sign up for the newsletter at frank-stefano.com to stay in touch when you do get unsubscribed. Uh, so if you guys do want to support me further, you can also see my businesses on there. But thanks again for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow's video.